The Big Bang Theory quickly became one of the most popular television shows in the world, breaking records and drawing a huge audience. And the Big Bang Theory cast salary reflected the demand for the series. The quirky sitcom lasted a whopping 12 seasons, and famously, by the end of the series, the main Big Bang Theory cast was pulling in a huge salary per episode, over 1 million per episode by the final season, via Ed Online. The Big Bang Theory followed a group of scientists in different fields who became friends with the woman who lived across the hall. Their lives and relationships changed drastically as a result. With 12 years of their lives invested in making people laugh as nerdy scientists and hilarious friends, there's no doubt that the cast only continued to make more and more money as the series gained popularity and continued at the top of everyone's radar. The difference between the first and last season's Big Bang Theory cast salary, though, is incredible. As far as secondary characters go, Salaries didn't usually exactly go up or down as the show went on. Will Wheaton was no exception, and even though he literally played himself, the Kiwi Report initially reported he was making $20,000 per episode throughout the course of the show in an article that has since been removed from the website. Other frequent guest stars earned $50,000 or more for a single episode appearance, so it is possible that his earnings were high However, while Wheaton might be a big name in certain pop culture spheres, thanks to his roles in the likes of Star Trek and Stand By Me, he is not a household name, so it makes sense he didn't receive as high of a payday. With only 17 episodes under his belt during the run of the series, he definitely made an impression. Self-professed geeks who are fans of the show already know and love the Star Trek icon even if his character was one of the least likable in the Big Bang Theory. There's no indication that Kevin Sussman ever got a salary increase, even though he actually became a pretty prominent character as the series progressed. Everyone loved Stuart Bloom as a secondary character, of course, especially as he became such a big part of Howard and Bernadette's lives. Stuart started as simply an acquaintance of the group, who ran a comic book store and became a trusted member of their circle. Sussman had already established a respectable career in movies and television by the time he joined the cast of The Big Bang Theory in a supporting role. Still, given that he made sporadic appearances early on in the show, his salary would be normal. Though it is likely there was some increase as the role got bigger. From the beginning to the end, Kevin Sussman was reported to be making $50,000 per episode via a fair post. He appeared in 84 episodes. So while this is lower than the main The Big Bang Theory cast salaries, it's still a big paycheck. Much like Kevin Sussman, John Ross Bowie's secondary character of Barry Cripp was raking in around $50,000 per episode, starting in 2009 for his first appearance which was reported to stay the same until his last appearance in 2019 via Tuco. Unlike Sussman, his role didn't become as intertwined with the main cast as the series went on. However, he was a memorable part of the show from his introduction.